Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited because the coffee table is here. Yeah. So um, the coffee table came in yesterday and then I have the rug and some other stuff coming in tomorrow. So I am really, really excited. After this video, I'll do a clean with me. And in that clean with me, I'm going to be moving the bed, cleaning, dusting, doing a whole bunch of stuff because um, the majority of the big pieces are going to be in. So I'm going to go ahead and just do another coat of paint just to refresh the room like this wall here, that wall and in the entry um, door area. But um, let's go ahead so I can share with you guys the table. So you guys just seen me unpack it and it's so gorgeous like I said I did pick this up from overstock and it is from Kosa's home and it's the Salisbury reclaim elm coffee table so the table has a natural wood top and also if you look at the bottom there's a natural wood trim the reason why i ended up going with this one is because the blue sofa that i have here is a little bit more relaxed and if you look at the bottom it has a really light wood grain going around the legs so normally i would probably do something different but i wanted something to kind of go with this piece here and also the sofa and this right here is the fabric for the wing backs. And if you notice, it does have some of that gold teaking in there. So when I saw this table by Kosas, I'm thinking to myself, yes, the, the gold trim around the base will go nice with the wing backs, but then the wood will go really nice with the sofa. And it is such a staple piece in the space. I, I already knew in my mind like how the room was gonna come together. It was just a matter of getting everything. So I just picked up the tray with the flower and it looks so good. I am just like so excited. I have to clean the room. So I'm just gonna show you guys this in this video. But right after I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything and get everything situated because I still have some other things that are gonna be coming. Um, for this table here, I'm not really sure how it's translating over to you guys. Maybe once I start cleaning and position the camera in different ways, you'll see it a little bit better. But it measures in at 39 by 39 and the height of it is about 16. Let me just say now the gold trim around it is so, so, so nice. This is a piece that definitely falls under the transitional category. I don't see myself getting tired of it. And the really great thing about it is the way the furniture in the house is set up, I can literally move things around into different rooms to create a different look if I do get tired of it, which is really great. This table will look great in the family room and it will look really nice downstairs also. So I'm loving it so much. So I kind of came close to the table because I really wanted you to see the natural grain of um, the wood on here. But I also wanted to get a little bit closer. I have to dust this so it's still a little bit dusty from the styrofoam and all that stuff in the box. But this is a resin. So I really love this. And the fact that this was shipped front door in the box and there's like no um, dents on it is really, really great. But I thought this was just a really, really great piece. Look at that. But yeah, the table is beautiful. The table is really, really beautiful. Okay, so you guys pretty much saw that I took everything out of the boxes, did everything and all that stuff. I wanted to come on here and just touch base on one thing in particular and that is this table is actually a dupe. Um, a few months ago, maybe six months ago, I was online looking and I seen this Bernhardt table and it was just so gorgeous and I'm like, I want that, I need that in my life. When I started doing a little bit of research, 
the table was $1,700. The process of getting the house together has been an expensive one. I just could not validate $1,700. I would have done it, but I still was just kind of like, mm, I don't know. So I was just like looking, looking, and then I found this beauty on Overstock and it was just the perfect dupe to the table. The great thing about this table is for me, even though that it, even though this table was a dupe, and again, I still consider it to be um, pricey even though it's a dupe, um, I didn't lose out on the integrity. I didn't lose out on the look and feel that I was going for and just save a little bit of money. $1,700 is, $800 is a whole lot better than $1,700. So for me, this was a great, a great find. I love the table so much. I went on ahead and put the um, uttermost tray in the floral arrangements here and then I have the candle. So pretty much when you guys see this video, I already, I did this yesterday and I'm recording the intro and the outro today. So I've already kind of cleaned this area here. So you'll see how I got the candle. This is a Bath and Body Works candle. You'll see how in the next video how I did this thanks for the tip miss no no Renee yeah but she told me about being able to remove um the paper on the candles if you don't like the color and I, I'm not a big fan of like the pinks and the purples and stuff I like it to be really nice and clean especially for in this room but I have so many other things coming you guys the rug the bench for in front of the bed i think i'm also going to do a pillow hole i have a lot of stuff coming um i am just really really excited just seeing the room come together i still have to clean up like i said but i have some more things coming in today actually i've been up since like seven o'clock in the morning just rearranging and moving things around and i have like so many boxes in the hallway upstairs <laughs> That I have to kind of move around also but it's coming together I'm really excited and then I get to share with you guys the actual room tour so the videos may not necessarily end the way that you want it to end because I'm not going to show you everything but when I do the the room tour I'll share the whole entire space in that room tour let me just say right now I do plan on adding some items onto the wall but again I'm just trying to save a little bit because I'm, I'm going to do a wall art here, a wall art on the other door. And then I'm looking at these eyelet mirrors. They're like super long to go on the front and the back side of this um, wall right here. And they have some gold trimming on it. I told you guys I like um, gold accents just because they're accent pieces so they can kind of flow around the house. I try not to do anything that's too much gold. <laughs> Mine is the stable. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the haul and seeing my new lump table and it's just so pretty let me go down a little bit i just really love the natural wood element of the table it's not farmhousey it's not rustic it's giving me like a really really nice high-end chic look in this gold <laughs> you guys i just can't get over it the table is just so nice like, i really really do love the table and i am enjoying it and last night I went into the hallway and I came back in here and I was just like, oh my gosh, like the room is coming together and it looks really nice. And I'm happy that I'm taking my time and getting things done because I'm really finding some nice transitional pieces. Um, and that was what was most important to me was to find some really nice things that can kind of work into the space that I wasn't going to get tired of seeing and I was going to fall in love with everything and I wanted to fall in love with everything, whether it was something small or it was something big. But anyway, I think I've talked entirely too much. Oh, you guys, I really do love the table. Normally, I would say I hope that you guys like it. But at this point, I love it. That's all that really matters. <laughs> but um, I am going to be leaving a link in the bio if anyone's interested in taking a look at it or something. But um, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys have a really nice day. I hope to see you guys back. I got some amazing things coming. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. You have an Instagram Follow me on Instagram because um, I do post pictures on the regular, even if I don't come on YouTube and post and stuff like that. That way I can kind of keep you guys up to date on like what's going on, like what's coming in, what I'm buying, what I'm doing and things like that. Because I did post some pictures and stuff like that. So that is pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys have a really, really nice day. Bye.